There are an incredible 9 million different types of species on our planet that scientists know about, but researchers estimate that there are still close to 5 million species that have gone undiscovered. Simply put, Mother Nature is still full of surprises. Let's take a look at some of nature's most curious wonders, from insects that can freeze themselves to survive, to eels who can double their body size in an instant, here are 15 incredible animals you should know about. It was a really exciting moment. Um, before delivery, um, actually... Uh... Mystery Creature when a video of a strange, never-before-seen creature surfaced on the internet in 2016, the public didn't know what to think. Is it an alien? The video itself is very chilling. The animal is kept in a cage and can be seen gnawing at the metal bars and actually ripping right through them. The usual animal was fished out of a toxic river in China's Sand Bay. The man who found him and uploaded the original video claims the creature to be some type of water ghost. He also claimed the creature had been surviving by eating all animals, including humans. It wasn't until viewers did their own independent research when the true story revealed itself. The mysterious creature was actually a sick sun bear that was captured and mistreated by poachers. A healthy sun bear has a lush dark fur and a sun-colored patch around its neck. It's a protected species in Borneo because of rapidly declining numbers due to loss of habitat. It's such a long story, but luckily there are organizations like Free the Bears who are dedicated to preserving endangered wildlife. Free the Bears is responsible for over 200 sun and moon bear rescues. It's refreshing to see the healthy bears and know that there are still people in the world who want to do good. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Stock Market Chimpanzee Now for a little monkey business. Back in 1999, Raven, a six-year-old chimpanzee, became the 22nd most successful money manager in the United States. Raven chose her stocks by throwing darts at a board of 133 internet companies. Raven created her own index, called the Monkey Dex, and the result was a 213% gain, outperforming 6,000 professional Wall Street brokers. By simply throwing darts, Raven quadrupled the performance of the Dow and doubled the performance of the Nasdaq's composite. But research shows that random stock selecting isn't always random. The chances of the Raven creating a high-performing portfolio were already increased when the selections were already narrowed down to 133 high-performing companies. With that being said, it seems hard to justify paying a high-profile fund manager more than a bundle of bananas for his selections. The bottom line is this. Raven went from chimp to champ and made monkeys out of all the so-called professionals. Sea sapphires. Red, then blue, green, then purple, then invisible? Over the years, many people have described sea sapphires as the most beautiful creatures they've never seen. Even when they're visible, they can make themselves disappear in an instant. But how do they do that? Let's look at a blue sea sapphire. The secret is in the microscopic layers of crystal plates inside their cells. These crystals are separated by about four ten thousandths of a millimeter, about the same distance as a wavelength of blue light. So when a blue light bounces off the blue crystals, it's perfectly preserved and reflected, but any and all other colors will be canceled out. This type of coloration is known as a structured coloration. However this phenomenon happens, it's truly beautiful for us humans to gaze at. <laughs> Hellbenders, snot otter, devil dog, Allegheny Alligator. They've been known to be called many names, but hellbenders are their official title. They're large, aquatic salamanders found along the east coast of the United States. Known as North America's largest salamander, they can grow over two feet long and can weigh up to four pounds. They're the third largest salamander in the world, right after the Chinese and Japanese giant salamanders. Hellbenders have fleshy folds along the sides of their bodies, which allow them to extract oxygen from the water. They do have lungs, but ultimately use their skin to breathe. One interesting fact about hellbenders is their reproduction system. Unlike most species, where the females take care of the young, it's actually the opposite here. During the mating season, the males will build a nest of rocks they attract the females in. 
The females then deposit their eggs, but it's the males that not only stay to protect them, but in many cases there's evidence to suggest the males stick around even longer after the eggs hatch to ensure their safety as they grow. This would be a great time to talk about Father of the Year awards. <laughs> Desert Pupfish Born Survivors Here's some advice. Never challenge a pupfish to a breath-holding contest. These small fish that are found in California's Death Valley are known to hold their breath for up to five hours. This impressive ability has allowed them to adapt to the ever-constant changes in their environment. Traditionally, pupfish lived in cool and low-temperature waters. But over the last 10,000 years or so, these waters have now turned much hotter, checking in at almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So, how have they survived these scolding temperatures? They've evolved over the years into an almost entirely new species. Their newfound ability to hold their breath helps the fish create ethanol. Researchers believe this is how the small fish have been able to survive in their extreme environments. There are many different types of pupfish that live in Death Valley. This specific species will all depend on which stream or spring they actually live in. Their incredible ability to adapt has kept them alive for millions of years. <laughs> Field mice sleeping in tulips. These tulips are giving a literal sense to the term flower bed. British photographer Miles Herber uses his indoor studio to photograph small animals outside of their environment. He recently snapped these photos of field mice as they play and lay inside of these beautiful tulips. The mice love the smell of the pollen, and once they climb in, they begin to eat the stamens. Once they've had their fill, they often fall asleep. Herbert took advantage of all this, snapping away the entire time. He also opens his studio to outside photographers interested in capturing birds of prey, reptiles, frogs, and other beasts. Nearly all of the animals used for photos are bred in captivity then released in the wild in time. Herbert admits he would rather use captive bred animals as opposed to disturbing wildlife populations. The mice also receive treats during their photo shoots, so they get to snack while Herbert and his clients capture the cuteness overload. It's a win-win for everybody. <coughs> Crazy Gulper Eels The gulper eel is a creature of the deep water we still don't know much about but recent footage from a deep-sea rover has given us some clues that help us define these incredible creatures. Much like snakes who can consume prey much larger than themselves, gulper eels also contain a transformation that's much more spectacular than many other species. They can inflate and deflate their bodies in just a matter of seconds. These eels get their name from their mouths that transform into a massive huge black balloon at a moment's notice. Their wide mouths allow them to swallow prey much larger than themselves. To be honest, they aren't really much eels at all. They lack the pelvic fins and swim bladders that we traditionally use to identify and classify eels. Gulpers have very undeveloped eyes and can't see much beside the light changes that appear above them. Researchers have concluded that they use sound to navigate the world around them. Their tails have a lure at the end that glows pink, which is how they attract their prey. This incredible video illustrates how much we don't know about creatures that populate the very deep sea oceans below us. It's often said we know much more about the moon than the species that are here at the bottom of our own oceans. The deep sea waters are perhaps the last areas of Earth that we are familiar with. Humans' fascination with the unknown continues to drive our curiosity of the world around us. Who else knows what we will discover as we continue to explore? <laughs> African lungfish out of water. Here's a curious creature, the African lungfish, a fish that can travel through water, mud, and land. Researchers say that they've survived nearly 400 million years because of their remarkable adaptations. In fact, an African lungfish is known to sleep for up to five years without any sustenance. Scientists study this creature diligently, as it could possibly be the key to replicating suspended animation in humans for emergency operations. Simply put, Studying a fish that can survive years without food or water can help doctors learn how to buy time for humans who need life-threatening operations. Lungfish can survive for three to five years, then wake up when fresh water finally becomes available. This type of suspended animation has always fascinated scientists because of the possibilities it could imply in humans. It could help patients in critical conditions, such as gunshot wounds, allowing the doctor to buy extra time before the brain and body shuts completely down. <laughs> Pink Fairy Armadillo 
In the deserts of Argentina, you'll find an incredible creature known as the pink fairy armadillo, a five inch long critter that weighs a quarter pound with a rosy shell on top of its silky white hair. The smallest of armadillos spends most of its time burrowing deep into the earth. Don't let the name fairy fool you. It doesn't have wings and it can't cast any spells, but by pumping blood in and out of it, it can raise and lower its internal body temperature. It's rarely seen and almost totally unstudied, so we know very little about it. Unlike all other armadillos, the pink shell is not fully attached to its body. The shell's fragility suggests it doesn't rely on its shell for survival, as other armadillos do. The pink color is not conducive to fighting against predators in a desert where an animal must blend in to risk predation, but the pink armadillo spends most of its time underground. Almost like a real-life version of the video game Dig Dug, the pink armadillo continues to dig as scientists dig as well and hopes to learn more about this curious species. <laughs> Mountain Stone Wetas Mountain Stone Wetas are mysterious, marvelous creatures that live in the South Island of New Zealand. They can fool predators by laying on their back with their jaws wide open, ready to snap. If that doesn't work, they scratch, bite, and vomit on them. But their most impressive feat is their ability to adapt to extremely cold temperatures. In the winter months, when temperatures can reach as low as 10 degrees Fahrenheit, about 85% of a mountain stone's body water crystallizes. Their blood contains amino acids that foster this process. These substances are synthesized in the autumn months, then decrease again in the spring and summer. These amino acids essentially function like antifreeze in the wetter's body. Mountain stone wetters can remain frozen solid for up to five months. Then amazingly enough, when the temperatures rise again, they defrost and are as good as new. Their life expectancy can reach up to eight years, meaning they go through this process multiple times in a life. The males fight each other for access to females using their large mandibles that are often two times larger than their head. The dominating male wins the right to live with the female harem, which can include up to seven females giving him a higher chance of breeding than his single living counterparts. From playing dead to avoiding predators, freezing its body to survive the winter and fighting its own kind for a chance to procreate, these insects sure do fight hard for survival. <laughs> assassin Bug Armor These insects from the beetle family, known as assassin bugs, surely do live up to their name. They're known to impale their prey, suck them dry, and wear their lifeless corpses on their backs. But we aren't talking about one or two bodies. Assassin bugs are known to carry large piles of bodies on their backs. But the assassin doesn't wear its prey on their body just to gloat by showing off the number of kills it has. I mean, that's only part of it. Carrying their kills is a way to intimidate much larger predators who view the beetles as tasty treats. But there's actually another very viable reason in doing this as well. The body provides the beetle with a suit of easily removable armor. So if another bug does try to attack, the bodies peel off, leaving the predator with nothing but a bunch of already half-eaten insect cadavers. The assassin bug is equipped with highly hardened mouthpieces called a rostrum. Using this, the assassin stabs through the exoskeleton of its prey. They then inject a toxin that instantly paralyzes the unlucky meal, leaving it lifeless in a fraction of a second. Finally, the assassin slurps his victim dry. Wow, those guys are scary. The Zombie Wasp I'm not sure if cockroaches dream, but if they do, I'd imagine that zombie wasps are featured prominently in their nightmares. A cockroach being killed by a zombie wasp is a grueling four-month-long process that includes some of the most traumatizing events I've ever seen in the animal kingdom. It starts like this. The female wasp tracks down a cockroach using their heightened sense of sight and smell. Once located, they pounce on the prey with a lightning-fast strike to their exoskeleton. The wasp then injects the roach with a mind-altering venom that literally uses a form of mind control against the roach. The sting, which takes a few minutes to administer, has two primary effects. For the first half hour, the venom causes the cockroach to obsessively groom itself. This grooming creates a suitable substrate for the wasp's egg. More on that later. After the first half hour of grooming, the roach suddenly becomes sluggish and lethargic. It no longer has a desire to escape or really do much of anything. At this point, it's completely under the wasp's control. Meanwhile, the wasp goes off in search of a suitable nest. When she returns, she'll grab onto her victim and drag him to her newly built nest. Upon arrival, she then inserts her egg in the substrate mentioned before. 
Lastly, the wasp searches for material to plug the mouth of the burrow to prevent any scavengers from reaching her newly found victim. About two days later, the egg hatches into larvae that feed on the roach's bodily liquids. The larva then finds its way into the roach's gut, continuing to feed but also releasing a blend of antimicrobials that sanitize the roach. Then about 40 days later, a new wasp will burst outside of the roach's body, similar to scenes from the popular Alien franchise and the new wasp goes off to start the process all over again. Whew, that really gives me the creeps. <laughs> pink Dolphins of the Amazon The Amazon River Dolphin, also known as Pink River Dolphin or simply a bodo, only lives in fresh water. Don't let their name fool you though. They're sometimes a pink color, but can also be a shade of light blue or even a white albino color. Out of the five different types of dolphins, these are the largest, reaching up to 9 feet long and weighing as much as 300 pounds. The Amazon River has become more polluted over the years, but this doesn't stop the pink dolphin from finding its way around. That's because these dolphins don't rely on their eyesight to get around, instead they use echolocation, a way to sense objects' location by reflected sounds. The large bump on their head isn't their brains, it acts as a lens to help them focus their sounds during echolocation. They're also super agile and extremely flexible because their vertebrates are infused, unlike other dolphin counterparts. Their ability to move their heads up to 90 degree angles help them maneuver around and through objects under the water. They're also the focus of quite a bit of South American folklore. One legend claims that the dolphins can morph into handsome men known as Bodo Encantado who seduce and impregnate women in the middle of the night. Another legend says if you go swimming at night, the bodo will whisk you away to a magical underwater city where you'll never return to land. <laughs> the most potent venom. Often cited as the world's deadliest snake, the inland taipan has what many refer to as the most potent venom in all of nature. Using highly sensitive receptors on its tongue, they detect chemicals in the air that draw them to their prey. They then use their slender bodies to stealthily enter burrows to hunt for food. Their smooth and glossy scales ensure they move silently so as to not alert the prey. It moves incredibly fast to subdue their targets. To ensure their own safety, most snakes will strike then retreat, but in this case it strikes then strikes again, repeatedly, because it knows that toxins and its venom will act fast. The venom attacks the prey circulatory system and induces paralysis. It's the chemical complexity that makes the venom the deadliest in the world. Platypus, the strangest animal of all time. The platypus has continued to intrigue scientists since it was first discovered. In fact, when it was discovered in 1799, many thought the animal's mere existence was a hoax. Because of its unique appearance, a duck's bill and feet, an otter's body and fur, and a beaver's tail, many thought it was some kind of joke. They're not only the only venomous mammal, but they're also the only egg-laying mammals as well. Another interesting fact about these creatures is that they don't have stomachs or teeth. They love to eat worms, insects, and shrimp but the food goes straight to their intestines. When they go diving for food, they scoop grit and gravel along with their prey. With this combination in their mouths, the gravel acts like teeth, grinding down the prey in the platypus's mouth. Interesting. And there you have it, 15 incredible animals you should know about. Comment below to let us know which one intrigued you the most, and don't forget to hit that like button. See you next time.